right here from South Beach. So looking forward to that. Joining us now, Cowboys defensive end, two-time Bowler, Marcus Lawrence is here. You're here on behalf of the Dude Brand, and we are just so happy to have you join on this theater today. Well, thank you for having me. Absolutely. I got some um, wipes for you guys, okay. some dude wipes, Appreciate you know, that. if you clean up the mouth, you know. My mom, okay. my mom told me I had a potty mouth, so yeah. dude wipes, and, you know, here sponsoring <laughs> me and sponsoring all you guys, so thank you cool. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it, bro. So, Demarcus Lawrence, I all but gave you a standing ovation a year or so ago when you got paid, because you really got paid because you earned it. Right. You were as dominant a pass rushing force as there was in this league. Mm -hmm. And then last year happened, and I'm the biggest Cowboy fan on earth, and I still can't wrap my head around what happened, especially on the defensive side of the ball. It just didn't happen. So you've had a month or so to sort of just cogitate about it, just let it sink in. What, what, what went wrong? Right. Um, you know, you said I was a you know dominant pass rusher, but also a dominant run stopper too. So. Um, just being able to um, go and look at both levels of playing football, running and um, passing, passing game is, um, it's really all about, you know, making your stops when, when it's time to make your stops. And um, we had opportunities, we had opportunities to get turnovers and it's all about, you know, doing those things when the time matters and we didn't do it. So um, that's why I feel like, you know, the season turned out the way it did. Um, it was not, nothing to do with our belief or how we looked at the game, it was all about, you know, coming together and making the plays on the time. You, you did get your shoulders fixed going into last season. Did they bother you at all? I mean, not necessarily. It's all about just regaining strength. And um, it's hard to regain strength when you're already in the fire after a surgery. So uh, I'm glad I made it out the season. I'm healthy so I can, you know, regain my strength. So is there anything to the notion that when a bunch of guys, a bunch of stars get paid on a team. Zeke got paid, obviously, and we can go to the Jalen Smith guy. We had him on yesterday, got paid, yeah. you got paid. That you lose a little bit of edge, a little bit of fire, a little bit of drive? No, nah, um, you know, getting paid, um, it can make you comfortable. And um, that's that's one thing, you know, um, having Coach Marinelli taught me a lot. Um, you know, being comfortable with being uncomfortable. And um, that's how I play my game. That's how, you know, I try to raise my family. And um, that's one thing I don't think, you know, I've I seen any player or, you know, Dak Prescott even get comfortable. So um, it was all about just execution and um, timing. All I hear, everybody talks. Anytime if someone does the Cowboys game, when we come back, we hear the roster. This is the most talented football team. This is the most talented roster. So many different coaches would take this roster over their current roster. I feel like you guys, you guys hear that and you think you can just take the field because we got the star on our helmet and win ball games. I don't think you guys play to the level of what you should be playing to on a consistent basis. What do you say? Oh, yeah, the, um, the star is a huge, you know, factor. Um, it's all about, you know, being able to grow up in that process and understand that um, you play for one of the biggest sports organizations in the world. So um, all eyes are on you at all times. When you win, you get praised a lot. When you lose, you get doubted a lot. So um, it can work both ways. And um, if you don't have the mindset and the respect for the game, you can get lost into it. Well, you know, I, but the thing is, and, and I agree with you, it's just it's just the way it is. It's the nature of the beast. Mm -hmm. You get paid and you don't have the year that you had when you got paid, people automatically say, man, he got that money, he shut it down. All right. But if you want to look at the games, once the team have a lead, they don't have to pass the ball. Right. Or it's going to be quicker. Right. So how can you get your timing and get pressure on the quarterback when the game is 14-0 or, you know, whatever it is? So by winning, I mean, winning the time possession and winning, you know, um, scores, um, you rule the game. You hear that, Skip? He said it's hard to get sacks. It's hard to get to the quarterback when you down. Like I said, you guys been down all year, remember? You were down 31-3. to three. You were down yeah. by 19 against Buffalo. 17 against Chicago. You were down 10 against Philly. Don't you remember? tell me, tell him. I'm telling you. <laughs> I, I wasn't playing. He you wasn't playing. There. I was there. He already know I'm talking asking. to you. Yeah, I know exactly. I know painfully well what, what started happening. So I'm going to take you back a season ago to the 2018 season. Mm -hmm. 
and you uttered one of the all-time greatest quotes I've ever heard. I, I jumped out of my chair because it was for a, a late season. It was a late November game on Thursday night against Drew Brees, and they were rolling, yeah. the Saints were. And they came to Jerry World. And that week you said, when you hit a you-know-what in the mouth, and they're not doing what they're regular doing, which is putting up 50 points, they start getting a little distressed. Now you got them where you want them, and then you choke their ass out. Absolutely. That's from him. Yeah. That, that's, that's before, I can't remember, the Saints un, were they unbeaten at that point? Or, yeah. I, think that, I don't think yeah, they, they lost the game. All right, so here comes Drew Brees to your house, and you're saying, we're gonna hit those you-know-whats in the mouth mm -hmm. and choke their ass out, and you went out and you did it. You backed it up. I've never seen anything like it. I got your your quote inspired me to pick you that night. And everybody said they got no shot. I forget what the point spread was, but it was a lot in favor of the Saints. Mm. And it was domination. Drew Brees had maybe the worst game of his career because you and others were all over him. But then I didn't I didn't hear that from you last year or see that from you. And I don't know what the difference was, except we keep going back to, is it because you got paid or did the team lose its edge or did it lose its inspiration? Because the guy I call Coach Clapp, you know, Jason Garrett, after a while you just tune him out mm. and he's not pushing your button anymore. I don't know. No buttons got pushed on defense last year, right? Yeah, um, you know, just stepping into a, um, a new role of, you know, coming into funds, um, you know, expectations change for you. And uh, being able to get into the captain's seat last year and be able to see how things move and, you know, yep. how everything portrays back to you, even though, you know, you come in here and trying to set the foundation of how the game is supposed to be played. So um, a lot of, you know, uh, a lot of things come with getting paid, but it's also all about, you know, capitalizing just like that Saints game. So um, you can call anybody out. It's all about really just capitalizing. And, you know, those guys had my back um, that game. So. Mm. And then it got so bad. Speaking of Thursday night, you played another one this year at Chicago and you missed an NFL season high 19 tackles. Not just you, but your defense uh -huh. did. Well, well, that's just wrong. It's just like you're, you're better than that. And, and I asked Jalen Smith yesterday. Before the game, when you're warming up on the field, did you look around and think, well, we just don't seem like we're into this? No, uh, mm -hmm. um, I mean, you know, it's, it's hard to just try to, you know, focus on one person or, or read each other's energy. Um, it's all about, you know, you preparing and making sure you're straight to, mm -hmm. you know, go out there and capitalize on your moment. And um, when you get out there and you see a guy, you know, miss a tackle, you ain't gonna think it's gonna lead to 19. You gonna, hey, bro, get right, let's go. You know, pick your guy up, but, um, you know, that, that was one of our bad games. And uh, I mean, I miss tackles too. So, and I, f I feel like I'm one of the best tacklers in the league. And um, it's all about, you know, making the plays when you got to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jason Garrett ultimately lost his job. And we had Jalen Smith on here yesterday. I say, you know, coaches don't get fired by themselves. Right. Coaches coach 53 players. Mm -hmm. So if the coach loses his job, the 53 players didn't do their job. Well, obviously, Jerry can't fire 53 guys. Uh -huh. He takes the guy that he feels that is most responsible. Do you, Talk to us about Skip wanted the guy gone a long, long time ago. <sighs> Tell us about what did, what did you like about Jason Garrett's coaching style and what didn't you like about his coaching style? Yeah, um, I like his, his demeanor. You know, every morning he came in, he was focused, ready to go. And, um, you know, had us on, on time every day. Mm -hmm. um, so just, just having, you know, that energy and, bringing it to your team. Um, <laughs> he, he got a favorite saying, I can't say it on national TV, but um, you know, just a, a tremendous respect for the guy. And uh, I, I really love his passion. Wow. Mm. Love his passion. Wait, 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 you saying you're, you're missing Jason Garrett? Or? No, I mean. He didn't say, like, say that. He like, said like, that. You gotta, you gotta understand the, the type of verge I'm going into my career. And um, you know, I, I respect um, Jerry's wishes and you know, what's going on, but this is my first coaching change. Jay, I mean, um, Jason um, drafted me, so uh, being able to see this um, transition, um, I got my eyes wide open and ready to go. Mm -hmm. What feeling have you gotten so far from Mike McCarthy? Uh, I ain't get to um, meet Mike, Mike yet, but I um, got to meet the um, rest of the coaching staff. Um, the, uh, Mr. Nolan, you know. Mike um, Nolan. Mr. Nolan, yes, sir. So yeah. uh, being able to um, have those guys around and uh, being able to see that, the type of energy there they're trying to bring to the team is very exciting. Are they going to stay 3-4? Are you guys going to stay at 43 or are you going to go into a 3-4? It don't matter. We athletes, baby. Oh, you want to play You want to play the 5-10? Yeah. 
Bro, I play, I play four tech. I can go three tech. I don't, it, it doesn't matter. Okay, that's what I like here. He said, he said whatever it takes. Whatever it takes, baby. <laughs> so, you know they bump and grind at that five tech oh, now. Man, you know they bump and grind in that. It don't even matter. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we had Xavier Woods on a couple of weeks back. Mm -hmm. We tried to push Jalen to say the same thing. Xavier Woods just went right out to the end of the limb and said, we will be in this game, meaning the Super Bowl, next year. Will you co-sign that? I mean, every time you step on the field, you want to be in this game. Only two teams can make it, you know. Um, but like I said, I got my eyes wide open. I'm ready for the season. And when I see my coaches, we're going to get this job done. Mm. That doesn't sound real convincing to me. But well, every, what, what, every time? Well, hold on. Hey, but, hey, but guess what? Process. It, Every okay, Monday, don't, don't jump the gun. Every right. Monday, yeah. every Tuesday, the Cowboys have the most talented roster. Mm -hmm. He writing on his paper. Jenny can attest to this. Oh, okay. Pro football focus at the mm -hmm. Dallas Cowboys. Now they got two teams in the Super Bowl. Ain't nobody said all year they got the most talented roster. What's wrong with that picture? Mm. Uh, I, I think people came around. I think the 49ers might be at the top of that list now. Oh, they got more talent than the yeah. Cowboys. Yeah, that's why you just flipped your pick I mean, and picked the 49ers. I mean, we're not talking How many about first round that. picks they got. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so they now look at their defensive line. Yeah. yeah. You got one. They got what? I guess Whoa. Robert Quinn was the first round. Oh, yeah. Look at their offensive line. How many first round y'all got on the offensive line? Yeah. Yeah, y'all loaded up there. Yeah. Deep. yeah. Deep. So one team built it through the defensive line with first round, the other team built it with the offensive line. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to figure, Skip. Mm. Quarterbacks. Mm. Who got a better quarterback, Skip? Mm. I, I think it was obvious that who, last who year. Who talking about KC or San Fran? I was talking about your guy. Oh. Mm. I was talking about your guy.